Hi everyone, so today I would like to talk a little bit about Nginx Cache. So in the caching process, every client request will be intercepted as Nginx as a reverse proxy before it will be forwarded to the backend server. But in the caching process, first, every request from the client, uh, Nginx will generate a hash based on that request, then Nginx will check the memory for the hash value itself. If the hash value doesn't exist in the memory, Nginx will then forward the request to the backend server or the upstream server. The backend server will then send a response where Nginx will do two things based on this response. First, that the uh, response will be saved in the file system on this. And then Nginx will store the hash value in the memory so that the subsequent request for the from the client uh, again nginx will check the hash value and this time once the hash value is exist in the memory then nginx will just grab the response from the file systems and then respond directly to the client itself without needing to again request to the backend server or the origin server because of this it will dramatically improve the performance of your web server hence it will be improving your user experience i will show you in the demo so this is my demo setup where i already have a back-end web server using apache here and then i already deploy uh, nginx deploy as the reverse proxy here and uh, this is my domain uh, nginx.aws.com so uh, let me show you directly now so if i open nginx.aws.com yeah here uh, i already deploy a um, simple template in the apache itself so as you can see that when i request to nginx.aws.com my nginx will intercept the request and then forwarding the request to the backend apache itself okay now on onto the cache configuration on nginx so first i will do an ssh to my nginx instance etc nginx config directory and then um yeah this is my default config file where uh, it, it is listening to the HTTP port and this is the server name nginx.aws.com uh, and then this is the location where I will forward all the traffic to the backend Apache okay so let's try to enable the nginx cache so first what you need to do is uh, put a directive called proxy cache path here. It will specify the path for the nginx to store the cache uh, into the disk itself. So in here, I will put slash tmp slash cache directory, and then uh, you will need a parameter called key zone and then for example we put uh, my cache here and then we need to specify the memory for the shared zone next is the levels itself so in here i will put two level deep down and then an inactive parameter uh, let's put uh, two minutes and then the maximum size in here Okay, just to explain that the uh, proxy cache path will uh, need it a couple of parameters. The first one is the where do you want to put the cache file in your file system. Here I put the slash tmp slash cache. And then for the key zone itself, uh, in here we define the share memory zone called my cache. And then with a maximum size of uh, 10 megabytes. It will hold all the active keys and metadata of the caching. 
and then uh, the second parameter will be the levels where uh, we set the numbers of subdirectory level in the cache itself in here we put two and then for the inactive we specify the maximum uh, inactive time cache that can be stored basically so if the cache data is not accessed during the time specified in here then the cache will get removed and then the last one will be the max cache itself where we specified the maximum size of cache that uh, we can store in the cache path itself so uh, the next one will be um, we need to put the directive it's called proxy cache and then in here we need to specify the cache name that we already specified in the proxy cache path directive which is my case so in here we put my cache and then uh, we need to put again a directive called proxy cache valid uh, let's put uh, for example half an hour and then just to uh, put uh, more debug usually I put the HTTP header call x proxy cache and then this is the value itself upstream cache status okay so yeah we are good to go so let me just save my file here and I do a reload okay so if we open again here the same host nginx aws.com and then if we check one of the files here for example this thumbnail ah you can see that the header that we specified before x proxy cache it's there from the response header and then it will say miss because this time nginx is uh, serving for the first time and it will uh, check uh, it will generate a hash and then check the hash value whether it is there in the file system or not if it is not there then it will say that the cache is missed because this is the first time that the client uh, requests for such file actually and then next is uh, if we would like to see in the cache path itself previously we specified the slash tmp slash cache sorry tmp and then if we want to check the cache file itself so we can go to the mp system engine x and then we put the mp cache ah then in here we will see that the nginx is already uh, get the response from the back end and then it will uh, again check the hash value and then it will store in the, this path uh, for the to serve the subsequent request for the client so if we go deeper we can see the hash key so this is the hash key that i mentioned so as you can see if we open the file it will store whatever value that is need to be stored sorry 3a for example we open this then it will store you know as a binary value that it's not human readable at all yeah but based on this this means that the nginx is already successfully uh, generate a hash put it in the memory and then put it the uh, the response itself in the file system so if we want to do a further checking there should be a process called 
cache here, you can see that uh, this is the default Nginx process, which is a worker process. And then if you enable cache, then it will again create another process called cache manager, which you can see here basically. Okay, now that we know that the hash is already in memory and then the response is already stored in the file system itself. So what happened if we again um, request the same uh, value, the same request to Nginx. So previously the header will say miss and then let's try again one more time. Oops, sorry, forgot to put this. Okay, if we see the same file thumbnail here, ah, you can see that uh, the server already sent a back a response header, exprocy cache, but this time instead of miss, it will say hit. Hit means that uh, Nginx will already check the hash value, the same hash value, and then whether it will uh, exist in the memory. If it has exist, it will just simply do a response back directly to the client without needing to call the origin or the backend server here. Okay, what? So what is the benefit of doing this basically? So to give you a better understanding, I already uh, installed a HTTP benchmark tool called WFK here. Yeah, so basically this is a modern HTTP benchmark tools that uh, I usually use to do a benchmarking and then do no performance testing, load testing, etc, etc. So let's see. Uh, let's check uh, how many requests per second that uh, this server, Nginx server, can serve without the caching first. So I uh, will just simply command the proxy cache here to disable the entire cache. Uh, Nginx minus reload. And then, uh, so let's just try to do a performance test with this. So in here, let's say I specify 10 concurrent connection, and then let's try the duration for five seconds to this instance. Okay. Yeah, let's try one more time. Okay, as you can see that uh, without caching, uh, the average request per second is around um, 2,500 to 2,800. So let's say uh, around 2,000 until 3,000. And let's see what happens if we enable the cache itself. So in here, if I uncomment or I enable the cache, I do a next minus reload. And then I try one more time the benchmarking tools with the exact same parameter. Yeah, let's try one more time. Yeah, it's the same. So as you can see that, uh, like I mentioned before, with caching, if you do it right, it will dramatically improve your web server performance. In here, you can see with the simple like three or four lines, you can get like around 10 times the processing request of uh, your web server, basically. With that said, thank you and stay healthy. And if you find this video useful, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.